conditioning. <laughs> Let's talk about refrigerators. I personally like my refrigerator. I know you all like yours. What about washing machines and dryers? Lord, please God, don't make me scrub clothes in a bucket and have to hang them out on the line when we switch over to wind turbines and solar panels. I'm going to be really pissed off about that. It really is special when a US Congress person decides to take a page out of Anchorman's book and tell the world that she loves lamp. But that was Marjorie Green doing just that. And she made an incredibly stupid point about how if we rely on solar energy, well, the lights won't work at night. But of course, as we know, there are ways to store energy that's generated in a renewable way. Uh, renewable energy, incidentally, continues to be available if the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining because energy can be stored in batteries. We don't need to read any more into, into that. Uh, any person with two brain cells to rub together uh, knows that, but Marjorie Green apparently doesn't. At the same time, Marjorie Green feels the need to attack other people for allegedly not being smart enough when she herself might literally be the dumbest member of Congress. What do I mean by that? Let's watch. It's Build Back Better part two, over 700 pages of a bill that, that passes more Green New Deal insanity that AOC never wrote, by the way. She's not smart enough. She's not. She does makeup tutorials, okay? That's what she does. And she got elected by dancing on rooftops. And making really bad drinks is what I've heard. She's not even a good bartender. So we know she didn't write the Green New Deal because she can't even think that deeply. She can't even make a mojito. She can't even make, yeah. She could, you're right. She'd be like, what do I put to ground up in the bottom to make a mojito? She doesn't even know what that is. But either way, either way, she's going to get some credit because Green New Deal crap. Two things, number one, you should maybe watch those makeup tutorials, girl. It could help you out. Number two, and more importantly, you literally just said that the lights wouldn't work if we rely on renewable energy. Not knowing, like a stupid person, especially a stupid person in Congress, that that energy can be stored in batteries. Like it's just, Jenk, I just, I don't, I don't know what to do with these people. Like you, she really thinks, that she is the intellectual superior to AOC because what, AOC used to be a bartender, really? So is she making a comment here about people who work in the service industry? Does she think bartenders in this country are by default idiots? Maybe a little self-reflection, do a little self-reflection, girl. Little self-reflection, <laughs> you're a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, no, AOC is so stupid, she doesn't even know that the forest fires get started by space lasers. Specifically, <laughs> Jewish space lasers. She doesn't even know that, okay? She's just a bartender. What would a bartender do? No, that's just an average American. No, Republican Party for the elites and the space lasers. Wait, are we against the space lasers? It's hard to keep track with Marjorie Taylor Greene's tiny, tiny, tiny little mind. Uh, so let's break it down though. First of all, my favorite part was the awkward laughing. That's apparently supposed to be a podcast, the second clip that we showed you guys. <laughs> yeah, she was dancing on rooftops. No, she wasn't. You guys just made that up. Okay, not every bartender dances on rooftops, whatever that means. Okay, I don't even know how to make a mojito. Whereas we've been drinking mojitos all day long. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Um, before you go on and say that, hey, if you're using solar power, the lights are going to go off at night. Don't you want to ask someone? That's what I'm always amazed with the right wing. It's very true of Trump too. Like before you say it out loud in front of the nation. Remember when Trump was like, maybe we take a little bit of bleach, some, uh, and it, it just knocks it right out. Maybe we inject it. You know, we put it in the body, the disinfectant. You put it in the body, huh? And then he looks at the doctor. Didn't you want to ask her before you did the national press conference so you didn't look like the dumbest man alive? Nope. 
The answer is consistently no. No, don't want to ask. So, what if it's the wind's not blowing? <laughs> then all of the electricity is going to go up. You think that they didn't think about that? It didn't occur you to to double check. Hey, did they think about that? What happens when there's no wind? No, no, Jake, nope. they didn't. Marjorie Green is the hero who really thought about that first. She's the she's the hero here. <laughs> Just remember that. And and then they do, yeah. the, of course, nonsense, nonsense fear mongering. Uh, I like air conditioning. <laughs> We're not gonna have air conditioning. Okay. Nobody said who, that. By the way, who attacked who attacked AC? Like who, who attacked air conditioning? No, no American Just in their right mind. Yeah, they look, so everything contributes to the problem that we have. But is there any specific proposal to end air conditioning? None, none whatsoever. In fact, I'd be the first one against it, okay? Have you been to Houston? You're gonna live in Houston without air conditioning? It would wipe out several cities, Vegas, etc. Uh, so no, that's among the many, many reasons why it's never been proposed. In fact, on this show, we make that joke all the time. I've told the story a 100 times a, a friend, a family friend comes over for Thanksgiving. We do the awkward Uyghur tradition of what are you thankful for? Everybody's always like family and friends. We get the con, con's like air conditioning. I'm thankful for air conditioning. One of the best answers no, ever. Yep, it's it's the right thing to be thankful for, hundred uh, percent. Came back from my trip uh, to see family in Florida. AC was broken for three days, and uh, I just I, I I couldn't take it. I thought it was over for me. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to survive. To be honest, <laughs> like it was it was one of the most terrible experiences I have ever had. And yes, that means I'm pretty privileged. But have you lived in Los Angeles in the middle of a heat wave without AC? And I, I, I live in the valley, San Fernando Valley. Yeah, no, that's pretty tough. Which is significantly hotter. Yeah, it's tough. No, no one on the left is calling for uh, the abolition of uh, you know AC or you know dishwashers. In fact, if you do use a dishwasher, they actually tend to save more water than just washing by hand. Um, so something to keep in mind. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're, we're talking to an insane person who doesn't really care about facts at all. Yeah, and so whatever we say is not gonna get to the right wing anyway. What's gonna get to the right wing is they're banning planes, burgers, and uh, air conditioning, and, and obviously all the lights will go off <laughs> when the sun goes down, and they'll believe it. And with no irony whatsoever, but can you believe how dumb AOC is? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.